Good morning, boys and girls. My name is Miss Patty, and I'm a pre-K teacher at L.C. Hatcher Elementary. And today, I'm going to be sharing a book with you called Rhyming Dust Bunnies. The book was written by Jan Thomas, so she's the author, and she's also the illustrator, or the one who drew the pictures. Pretty cool, huh? Inside the book, or on the front of the book, we have um, pictures that tell us about what's going to maybe happen in the book, helps us predict. We also have the back of the book, and we have our spine. And inside the book, we have what's called our title page. And the title page just gives us the title again and our author. <clears throat> okay, so let's get started. Rhyming Dust Bunnies by Jan Thomas. Hello, we are Ed, Ned, Ted, and Bob. We rhyme all the time. Hey, what rhymes with car? Far, jar, tar, look. No, Bob. Look does not rhyme with car. What rhymes with bug? Hug, <clears throat> rug, mug, look out! No, Bob. Look out does not rhyme with bug. <gasps> what rhymes with Dog, hog, log, fog. Look out, here comes a big scary monster with a broom. Bob, no. Look out, here comes a big scary monster with a broom. Doesn't rhyme with anything, really. Okay then, but... Good call, Bob. Hmm, okay, so where were we? What rhymes with cat? Sat, pat, rat, vacuum cleaner. Um, Bob, what rhymes with how do we get out? I hope you liked our story. And this is, hey, what rhymes with dust bunnies? Does anything you can think of rhyme with dust bunnies? I can't think of anything right now. But we're gonna do a little activity with rhyming with some of the words that we heard in our book, what rhyming dust bunnies. Okay, boys and girls, our, we're, our next activity is going to be the rhyming words from the story that we just read, Rhyming Dust Bunnies. And rhyming words are words that sound the same, like bat, cat, fat, rat. So we're gonna use a word that the dust bunnies had, and their first word that they were rhyming with was car. And they said far, and jar, and bar, and scar, and the last one was star. So all these words have the same sound ending. They car and far, car r r, far r r, jar r r, bar r r, scar r r, star r r. So they all rhyme. Okay, our next rhyming word they rhyme, were rhyming with bug bug some words that they said rhymed with bug was rug and hug 
and mug and jug and the last one was I mean Doug so bug rug hug mug jug Doug can you think of any other rhyming words with ug can you okay you can you be thinking we're gonna move on to dog dog okay and a word that rhymes with dog um first of all let's think about it real quick does dog and bug do dog and bug rhyme dog og og bug ug ug no they don't rhyme do they so all right so dog hog log fog jog and frog okay so dog hog log frog jog and frog those rhyme so <clears throat> you can think of other words that might rhyme with those two and you can find a copy of this um, there's a PDF attached to this activity and this video and um, mom or dad or our brother or sister somebody can print those out for you if you want to to give it a try now we're going to do an activity with syllables syllables are how we divide words like um, my name is miss patty so we would divide my, my name into patty oh some ways to do that some people there's different methods and some people clap patty and some people tap patty in our class in pre-k i found it much easier for four-year-olds to put their hand under their chin and say the word patty and what happens is is that every time your chin touches your hand that's a syllable and that's easier for us than getting messed up with clapping but it depends <clears throat> okay so we have one syllable words we have two syllable words and we have three syllable words today there are words with lots more syllables but these are the ones we're going to focus on today our first word is going to be princess princess here we go let's try it princess how many times did it touch it princess two times that's right so it has two syllables so we're going to put it right here with our two syllables okay our next word is hot only touched it one time so it is one syllable good all right our next one is an octopus octopus here we go octopus how many was that let's do it again octopus was three yes so we're gonna put the octopus over here with three syllables our next word is going to be an egg. Egg. Just one. If you guessed one, you're doing great. Do it with me, okay? Our next one is something really yummy. My favorite. Pizza. Let's do it together. Pizza. Two. Super. Okay, and our next one is sunglasses okay get your hand ready here we go sunglasses how many times did it touch do it one more time sunglasses three times super great so we put it over here with our three all right how about chicken that's yummy too all right chicken put your hand under your chin and chicken that was two all right we have two more things to go how about a crown a crown how many times
times does your chin hit your hand when you say crown? One. All right, so that's one. Okay, do you know, can you guess what the last one is going to be? Is it gonna be one syllable, like crown and pot and egg? Is it gonna be two syllables, like princess, pizza, chicken? Or is it going to be three syllables like sunglasses, octopus, banana, here we go, banana, yep, it's three, banana, super great, okay, so you can try this at home, these cards are also attached to this video so mom or dad could print them out but mom or dad could just write a one a two or a three on a piece of paper you can make you lay it out on the table or out on the floor and you can sell a set um excuse me separate different items different words into different syllables i hope you'll be practicing at home thank you for joining us today